Good morning. Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. It's about 7 a.m. I did like a mini vlog on Instagram, like sharing my morning routine. So I guess if you watch that, then you know it. But if not, let me show you. So the cats are usually hounding me in the morning. Let me tell you guys. I saw a TikTok saying a tea. The reason why your cats are like hounding you in the morning is not because they want to be fed. It's just because they thought you were dead at night and they're just so happy to learn that you're alive. And I was just like, baby girl, no. My cats are just hungry and they just want me to feed them. And it ends there. Because as soon as I feed them, they forget me. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know the reality of the situation. Like, they literally follow me around everywhere. I move, they move. Huh? When I move, you move. Yeah. Wait, you see the little run to the, to, to the food area. It's cute, I usually think it's so cute. Let's go. <laughs> Wow, Jinjin, okay. I see you. Okay, there you go, guys. That was my alarm. Now, once they finish eating, hmm, they will be checking for me. So, today is Thursday. I have kept up with my skipping. In fact, yesterday I even threw in a walk. I think I clocked. 12,000 steps yesterday because I went to Karura and I got lost so that's why I ended up walking more than I wanted to but it was really really good some people were asking me in the DM did I go alone was I alone I'm so brave but I felt when I went yesterday alone Karura was quite safe that's how I felt and what even made me feel that way is because there were so many other like solo women just walking on their own and then I, I the routes that i was using are just to like the the more busy routes so i'm passing like a solo babe every so often so i felt so safe and then um monday tuesday i did my skipping so thursday friday i also wanna do that so that's what i wanna get into now nemo is around she's doing her tour of sleepovers she started at my sister's today she's coming to mine She's opening school on Monday, so I think I have to take her to the salon because her hair isn't done. Let me take that off my mom's plate. I just take her to the salon. So no co-working space today. Today, the co-working space shall be the salon. Uh, Miriam is also coming today because she told me she has a matanga tomorrow. So then my house is clean, but let her come. The skipping is just done in my pajamas because I'm trying to minimize giving myself excuses as much as possible because adding things like now waking, I wake up then I have to wear a workout clothes that adds like a, some room to be like oh no but if it's just pajamas like I just have a sports bra and then I have sneakers there's no excuse. You get up and you do what you gotta do. So. <sighs> 500 skips a day. 100 short break. 100 short break. Till I get to. Lord, till I get to 500. Okay, I'm actually ready. I really need to do something on this wall. It's so blank and boring. Like, look at look at this. It's really so blank and boring. I just want to do like one or two things. I'm just waiting for Nemo to come and go to the salon while I have broth. If there's one thing I've been so consistent with, it's taking broth. I've been so consistent with it. Wow. But I'm doing myself such a disservice because broth is supposed to like heal your gut. You, you can read more about it if you're interested. But I think 
what I'm doing is very counterproductive because I'm healing my gut, but I keep taking the things that I keep taking the things that like destroy the gut. I guess I could say that shouldn't actually be in quotes. Yeah, so there are certain foods I eat that make me feel bloated, sluggish. So I assume that those are not good for the gut. For me, it's sugar. Woo, sugar. Like the minute I just, even cocktails, nini, like when I just take sugar, immediately we have a pregnancy, okay? A bloat pregnancy. <laughs> so um, I need to really, because there's a time I think for like three weeks that I didn't take sugar, my carb intake was so low. When I do things like rice, or gluten is another one that makes me very bloated. I eat bread, I might eat pastries nini i get so bloated but i realized um rice warus those ones i am usually okay with as long as i don't eat too much so i um i noticed in those three weeks when i actually like stopped taking sugar reduced my carbs um i stopped taking gluten i was feeling amazing i was feeling like my stomach is in there which i think is like i don't know is how i like to feel it's like your arm like i don't feel like my arm is there so i also don't want to feel like my stomach is there does that make sense because the reason why i feel like my stomach is there is because i'm so bloated and i i just feel so uncomfortable so yeah this week i've actually only made rice usually i make like two um starches but my clothes have stopped fitting me, so I was like, Kathy, please just make one starch. I won't be having starch at night. Like, I'll just have protein and, and, and salad. So, yeah. Anyways, things to do with nutrition, I find, can be really touchy. Everyone has their own, like, thoughts on it. So me mine isn't the gospel truth i have i think for me what i've done is i've just really taken time to to understand my body and i'm able to know that hey when i eat this when i eat the other i don't feel good so that's where i'm at i think actually that's what's most important like just being very in tune and in touch with like how you feel when you eat certain foods then you'll know that mm, maybe not maybe not listen before i even put my bags down i need to start this vlog so welcome back to a new vlog guys i just came back from um from work so I haven't even put my bag down or nothing because i feel like if i put my bag down i'll forget about um vlogging those are the cats that's my welcome that is my welcome okay i just went like that no bra to work nipples out saying hi to everyone anyways it is what it is i don't know if you guys did it when was the last time i actually vlogged because i think i shared this update on instagram stories which are really confusing me because stories vlogging i feel like it's a lot but there was a t point in time i was managing at the end of last year so i know i can manage i'm just taking some time to get into it but anyway i got this bag from denry this lunch bag and i really love it you guys my home is so clean and i love that for me like i've actually managed to be keeping my home so nice and clean and i love love that anyway i have had a very um nice and productive day hey you guys are hungry i'm a, i swear i know they have food i know it but let me defrost for them their minced meat i had ordered some meat uh last week from city market it's actually a lot cheaper than getting it um at carrefour because one kg of mince meat at city market is like 500 bob of 550 so i was able to get two kg for 1100 which is perfect because at carrefour i think i used to buy one kg can come to like 700 and almost actually 800 
so yeah so see how nice and organized my home is i love that for me <sighs> so on the agenda let me actually unpack my lunch things I just wanna, there's some kombucha that I had brewed um, last week that I think is ready. The thing with kombucha is it's so tricky. Like if you let it cook, <laughs> if you let it ferment for even one extra day, it and like, like it just becomes very bitter and just tastes like vinegar. So I have to take it out today. If it hasn't already reached that point, let me taste it. Let me wash my hands. Hi guys! Hi guys! Do you wait for mince meat? So I just give you guys dry food. You eat mince meat tomorrow. What do you prefer? Hmm? What do you guys prefer? I just give you the dry food. Yes? Let me have a feeling you already have dry food and you just hear crying. But let's see. This is actually the one I want to remove because uh, you see this nasty looking thing floating that's called SCOBY or SCOBY. It's actually an acronym which I just discovered recently. It's an acronym for. Let me just check because I was listening to a podcast the other day and it was about this. It's a, it was a how we built this podcast, which is a really one of my favorite podcasts, actually. So they were interviewing like the founder of this kombucha brand called Health Aid. I think it's a really big um, kombucha in the US. And she was like, yeah, you know, SCOBY is an acronym. I'm like, I didn't know. So it means symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. I had no idea now i know so anyways this thing floating in here that's the scoby or the scooby some people say scooby some people say scoby so this one i don't know if you guys can see has way less scoby than this one so this one cooks or ferments way faster than this one so if i remove this one today this one can stay here even for like another two or three days and the way I know that it's ready is that it doesn't have sugar. Like you can't taste the sugar anymore. So if I'm able to taste the sugar, then that means that it's not ready and it needs a bit more time. But if I don't taste the sugar, then we are good to go. Mm. Still kind of taste the sugar. I feel like my taste buds are lying to me because what if i take it out tomorrow and it's because if it stays for too long it starts to taste like vinegar i think it's okay i actually think it's okay it's actually quite nice i think it could go another day actually <laughs> I don't know, so do I brush my teeth and then come back and try again or what? Although that would probably make it worse. Let me test the other Now this one completely has like has a lot of sugar. <clears throat> yeah like a baby. <laughs> Kali baby. Kali here. Hello. Oh, you don't want me to touch you? Hmm? Come on, girl. Kali is getting her space surgery tomorrow, guys. She's getting the snip snip. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's, I think she's been on heat or in heat. Is it on heat, in heat? Um, cause I asked Dr. Alan, who's my vet. I asked him like, how do, like, what are the signs? Like, how will I know? Um, cause it's either she waits until she's six months old to be spayed. That's like the recommended time. Or, um, Dr. Alan said if she's in heat earlier, then we just bring her in 
we do this uh, snip 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 so i noticed from the signs that he told me that she's on heat in heat that these meows she's making you guys i don't know if i'll be able to catch them on camera but where this cat <laughs> at 3 a.m at my door and then she's like scratching my door like some weird meows guys guy today i woke up and i've said enough is enough you're done like it's time so that's i'm gonna take her to get spayed tomorrow and she can't because it's actually like a whole surgery she can't eat um food until like and past midnight she can't eat so i hope that meat will have defrosted at least she eats and then um she has a good send of meal you know then tomorrow morning i'll take her to the vet uh then she'll sleep over for a night and then now i pick her up the next morning so i don't know you know spaying is more intense than neutering just like a hysterectomy is more intense than a vasectomy i think someone can literally get a vasectomy and walk out of the hospital right on that day correct me if i'm wrong right i don't think that's the case for a hysterectomy and it's just the same thing with the animals as well because ginger the snip snip the neutering took that day and i went and picked him up the next day and he was totally okay but kali has to sleep over she'll have to get the cone because she'll have like stitches it's like a, like anyways you guys i'll take you along for that you see i still think kali is so tiny for six months though kali wali i think she's so tiny you're so tiny kali you see that that's one of the signs guys that when i touch her like this she lifts her like her her bum that you see you see guys what she's doing that's one of the signs so girl yeah honestly coming back at the end of the day after a nice productive day of working this is why i'm in a great mood like i feel so good i feel amazing you know it's like i'm high it's like i'm i'm high on life you know <laughs> honestly for me that's actually self-care like just doing what i said i'm gonna do even when i don't feel like because i swear to god today when that alarm rang at 6 a.m i snoozed till 6 30 6 30 i said what am i doing this for who said i have to go to the co-working space who said i can just wake up and get my laptop and i work in but then i was like no there's a reason why i paid for that co-working space because i know if I don't go to the co-working space, working from home is just a rumor. Time to do the lovely work of cleaning the litter boxes. Woohoo! I have to do this every day usually. And I have supervisors as you can see to see whether I'm doing it wrong or not. Let's get into skincare. Good. Look at this. It's a mess. We have everything going on here. Earrings, gel. Like there's so much clutter here. Christmas ended, but uh, that's still there. So honestly, I really need to declutter this area. 
I need to declutter a lot of things in this house, but honestly, surely, I think I can start here. But I know if you actually haven't tried this lotion, please get on it. It's actually a fantastic lotion. Anyway, so in my clutter, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been using for skincare. Uh, my skincare hasn't changed much at all. The only thing that I've added into my routine is this. This is the L L hey, L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal um, Revital Lift. Uh, I got sent this. I didn't buy it, and my skin got to a place where it was really, really dry because I still use this. This is um, the Acne.org Benzoyl Peroxide. So. Because I still use this, it's very drying on my skin. But there's a time I noticed, hey, it was a bit too dry. So I decided to try this. Um, so far, Sina Maoni. But I have only used it for like the past like week or two. So yeah, I Sina Maoni for now. But I'm continuing to use it. Moisturizer is the same, 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 same one. Sunscreen. Although it's night time, but sunscreen is La Roche. Also been using that for a minute. Anyways, one day, this situation, I'll tackle it. Alright, so. I've been trying to do intermittent fasting. Actually, intermittent fasting kind of comes naturally to me because I'm not someone who, like I'm not a breakfast person. And I wonder what would make someone, like what's going on with you guys how do you wake up and you actually feel like eating because i find that like that's madness like you wake up like this breakfast are you okay because me hey, it takes me like uh, it takes me time like i need a couple of hours before i start eating actually can be getting the food so that's what i'm saying um intermittent fasting it comes quite naturally to me because I just don't eat breakfast. I eat my first meal from 11. But now I've been trying to do intermittent fasting a bit more intentionally where I'm trying to stop eating by 8. It's actually almost 8. So I fast for 16 hours. So if I eat by 8, then it means my next meal will be at... Mid, if my next meal is at midday, then I've actually fasted for 16 hours, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what I've been doing. And then I also don't take carbs at night because when I take like carbs at night, then I eat late, like I eat so close to bedtime, I've eaten carbs, I wake up feeling so sluggish. So Doing that just makes me feel a lot better. That is actually coming on Wednesday, so I just have two more meals before she comes or so. And I think I've kind of mastered the ninis at this point. The, the amounts that I eat. This will be her fifth time coming, guys. I've been so consistent with meal prep. It's like the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm really happy about that. There's my dinner, some meatballs and some spinach and a nice glass of kombucha, the last of the kombucha so that other one has to be ready tomorrow. This looks yum. Morning guys, I am running so late today, it's Tuesday, uh, today is the day after yesterday, I vlogged yesterday so today is what I'm meant to be taking Kali to get her space surgery so these guys are hungry because usually i leave for them food out at night but last night i couldn't because kali can't eat before her surgery ginger has to suffer we have to all suffer in solidarity 
So Jin Jin is like they're just following me everywhere. They're so hungry. Anyway, I'm running so late today. Tell me why my alarm rang at six and I was up at six, but I have just left my bed right now. And it's 7 30. Hmm? Anyway, just wanna do my skips and get moving. Okay, I'm in between rounds, but. <sighs> well, okay. <sighs> hey, nice. I usually use my rest time to like wash the dishes that are there. Pack my lunch. <sighs> but as of today, I've upped to 120 skips. I was doing 100 skips. I take a break. 100 skips, I take a break. <sighs> so I usually do 120 skips. I, I make my... I boil my broth. 120 skips, I pack my lunch. 120 skips, I wash the dishes like that. Like my rest time is still very productive also the dishes are usually just very few what i've carried for lunch my flask for broth and my dishes for dinner it's usually kidogo Lunch is packed and I've left the kitchen looking nice and clean. Actually, now what I want to do, <laughs> as the cats are sniffing, I want to clean this thing up. Because um, I have not cleaned it in ages. So it might be a bit dirty. So I'm just going to clean it with wipes. That's it. I would use like a cleaner or something to disinfect. But the cats don't like the smell of like, disinfectants and so this part is gonna go in here like right now I think it's better just clean it too is actually in love with this career let me tell you guys he just loves it which is so weird because i see people struggling to get their cats in the career you don't have to tell jin jin twice he's in but even kali doesn't mind at all at all like they just love it so enjoy guys but let me put it down my jin jin has become heavy Point eight. Okay. But she's fierce also. Yeah. I had taken her to a cat boarding over yeah. the holidays. Hello? She was the smallest one there, but she was a bully. She was bullying the other cats. Really? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I think she just she has a dominant trait. Mm. Okay, baby. Well, guys, it's been a long day. But it's the end of the work day. I just want to go do my shopping because tomorrow is Wednesday, which means Kathy is coming. We've been doing this cute thing with my sister where we meet, um, get like a coffee or a glass of wine, depending on the day. And then after that, we go shop together. So I'm just going to meet her right now and then we go do our weekly shopping. Mm -hmm. Ginger is like, where have you been? And where is Kali? Because he's been alone the whole day and he hasn't stayed alone for a while. So I've even given him his favorite food there, Omena, but it's hot. That's why he's just following me around. Anyways, the weekly shopping is done. I just bought a phone for work purposes. So I just want to unpack all this 
stuff. I think that I told you guys yesterday I've been getting my meat at City Market. My sister has her own plug. So we just order the meat together. And then um, when it's delivered, like, so we both, honestly, <laughs> we we've combined a lot because we share the same cleaning lady so miriam cleans both of our houses and we also share kathy but the good thing is with kathy she comes here or there first and then she comes to the other place like she comes to both our places on the same day to do meal prep so uh she's on who has my meat right now so she orders it on tuesday and then tomorrow kathy will go to her place first then she'll come to my place so kathy will come with the meat for me chin chin go try go try the food go try let me just unpack uh the groceries Buying meat in city market has been saving me a lot of money. I think I touched. I think I mentioned that to you guys yesterday. Ooh, a lot. Honestly, it's been a really long day. I am honestly, I'm just gonna shower and call it a night i watch like one episode of Grey's anatomy i hang out with ginger because yo he's demanding for attention and then i just call it a night so i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow we'll go pick kali up from the vet see how she's doing see how ginger will because dr alan was saying sometimes if you have another cut that cut could like try leaking like the wound or the stitches which isn't good and I'm hoping Jinjin won't do that because that will just add another layer of problems, you know. So tomorrow we'll go get um, Kali and then I like monitor how how Jinjin will respond. Anyways, good night guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning guys. I am on my way to go and pick Kali up. Mm, yeah, actually today the agenda for the day is quite chilled. I'm not going to the co-working space. I don't go on Wednesdays because Kathy comes on Wednesdays. But today she started um, cooking my sister's food. Then now she'll just come over to cook mine. That will probably be at around maybe 12, which gives me enough time to go pick Kali. Uh, and then I also want to film some content for Joanna K Cosmetics. At least then by the time Kathy comes, I'm done because I think it would be kind of awkward if I'm filming and she's there. I just wouldn't feel comfortable. If I had to do it, I would, but I wouldn't feel comfortable. Just I'm just there in the sitting room, like hi guys, da da da, and how she's there cooking away. No, so at least um, if I filmed by the time she's coming, then now I can use that time to edit. But first agenda, the first thing on the agenda is to go and pick um, Kali up. Ginger has been so lonely without her. Hi, Kali. Hi. Okay, we're home. Oh, yeah. I feel so sorry for her with the corn. Oh, she's definitely gonna really try to remove it. But she can't. Oh, yeah. Polly. Oh, yeah. Chin Chin is looking at her like, what's going on? <laughs> hmm? I'm so stressed having to monitor these guys. No, no, no. Kali's personality hasn't changed at all. She literally came and started running and playing with Ginger. And I'm like, girl, your stitch, your stitches rather are gonna open up. But who is Kali? She doesn't care. So I'm getting so tired having to monitor them. So I've been closing Ginger here in the room. I stay with Kali in the sitting room. Ginger is, is crying, you know, like nah, scratching the door, wants to come out. And Kali just can't help herself. She wants to play. So, I don't know. 
I guess uh, that's gonna be my life for the next two weeks. I think if I'm leaving the house though, or when I go to bed, I'll definitely have to separate them. But for now, all of us stay here in the sitting room. Nothing calls them more than this. Ding, ding, ding. Let me just close the bedroom door so that they don't nini. They don't come there and then I can't see them. Anyways, guys, today was meal prep day. And meal prep is officially done. This was the spoon I was using to just taste everything. So this was my menu. These are the sweet and sour chicken lollipops. Goat fry, I just made a little. Actually, yeah, this is just like two meals for me worth of goat meat. We have um, coconut fish curry. And then here we have the coconut rice. And then pineapple, carrot, and raisin salad, which I have been so obsessed with oh my goodness i've been so obsessed with this salad i have kathy make this every single week without fail every single week oh and i still have a bit of spinach from the last meal prep and a couple of meatballs and uh yeah this is actually enough food for the week uh, I think I mentioned I'm trying to like cut down on how many carbs I'm eating so she used to make like rice and potatoes or like two starches but now she just makes one starch and it's almost always rice actually it's always rice so I usually get a few questions about um, let me just taste that fish curry one more time it's tasting really good like there's some things Kathy is so good at making and may I just have her make those over and over Mm. so the main question actually that i usually get is do i keep the meals in the fridge or do i keep the meals in the freezer and usually i just keep them in the fridge but my fridge is set to like a low temperature and my fridge just overdoes to by nature like it really overdoes like if something stays in the fridge not the freezer the fridge for like five days it, it freezes like it, it becomes frozen so i just keep my meals in the fridge and they're usually okay they still taste good seven days in um that's another one i've gotten like doesn't the food start tasting bad um after a few days no it actually doesn't as long as i warm it it's perfectly fine um i keep everything covered so i'll cover with either foil or i'll cover with the covers that the, the containers the the cover the containers cover so the two smells don't mix mix then i'm eating fish but it's tasting like goat meat you know so i keep them all covered and it it imagine it works out like the food is still fresh even i've just had the meatballs today and they tasted really good so yeah but freezer no i don't put in the freezer but if you're putting in the freezer then i would recommend you divide it into the the amounts you're gonna eat because if you don't there's no way you can remove all the stew from the freezer defrost to get the amount you and then return that's gonna like spoil it so yeah anyway it's actually quite late in the day um i've more or less done what i had set out to do today except filming which is like the main thing i haven't done that i'm not gonna do that today Nah.